Hi everyone, it's Michelle, your Independent Sensi Consultant. And I'm Chase, I'm Michelle's son. And we're gonna go over some test samples today, Sensi Scents. Uh, these are the Spring Summer Collection. These only are around for one more day. So I thought I would have Chase give his favorite scents since Colt likes to do that a lot. Um, I know Chase and I were smelling some of them last night. And then August 1st starts the fall winter smells, which I'm very excited about. I did order a transition set, so that's coming soon. So if I work with some of you, I will bring that into the office so you can smell the new fall winter smells, which are my favorite. One of them is called Fairy Tale Pumpkin. That sounds right up my alley. <laughs> I'm super excited to smell that one. All right, so I'll let Chase discuss which ones he likes. And again, all of these are on sale in the catalog right now. Um, so if any of them sound good to you, you can just click on my link at the top of Michelle's Enchanted um, Smiles page. Or recently I posted a couple days ago with the link you can click on. It'll take you right to the catalog and you can order what you like. So, but pretty much everything in the catalog right now is 10 to 20% off. So it's a really great deal. So, all right, Chase, your turn. Okay. I'm going to start off with Sun-Kissed Citrus, I think. Um, it's a lively blend of oranges, lemons, limes, and grapefruit. So if you like fruit and stuff, you might like this. So. Yeah, that, was, that smells really good. Yeah. You like that one a lot? It smells really good. It's one of my favorites. I like I, the smell of orange and lemon. Yeah, it's I good. like the smell of the orange and lemon combined too. It smells really, really good. So, sorry, our cat Luna is right here, so you might see her in the video. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Oh, I think Chase is going to help guide Luna out the door. And sorry if you hear background noise. Right now, we oh are goodness, like, yeah, you can loud. hear them. My husband and my son Colt are watching WWE. That's their favorite. So they are winning right now and they're very excited about it. So, okay, Chase is putting out the kitty cat because um, she really wants to be in the video. <laughs> Maybe one All right, day. he's coming right back. Okay. okay, you might want to scoot over a little, honey. There we go, so people can see you. Okay, so we did the sun kiss. That one was called, what was it called again? The sun, sun kiss, kiss citrus. Since description was a lively blend of orange, lemons, limes, and grapefruit. Okay, I'm gonna have you scoot over a little, honey. There you go, and I'll scoot over. Um, that sun-kissed one, it does, It honestly, I love sun-kissed drinks when I was growing up. Doesn't it Me smell too. like sun-kiss? Yeah. I think it smells like sun-kiss, so, ooh, it's really, really good, so. Okay, what's your next one you like? I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna do coconut lemongrass. Mm -hmm. We're starting off with a lot of um, fruit stuff. The citrus and the fruits? Yeah. yeah. I think that one's under citrus, okay. maybe. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Okay. It's oh, they can't see you, honey. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I know, I'm gonna scoot this this way. Okay, there you go. This is also really good. For people who like lemon smells and lemon, mm -hmm. coconut, yeah, it's a blend of those two. It does smell really good. It's a really, yeah, you the coconut and the lemon together. I agree, they smell really good together. Yes, so coconut lemon grass. If you like coconut and lemon, it's also on sale right now. Its description is it's a creamy tropical coconut and sunny bright lemongrass. Ooh. It sounds really good. It does. The lemongrass is really nice and light and you get just a little bit of the greenery in there and it smells really good. But I agree that is a good one. So okay. I think I'm gonna go through let's see. Uh probably another one in your citrus. Oh, this one be perfect. Oh, a lemon sorbet. This is one of my favorite fruit scents on your citrus. Yeah, lemon sorbet. It smells, it's my favorite too. Yeah, it really smells um, good. Mm -hmm. I like the 
lemon smell. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of like drinking lemonade on like yeah. a beach or anywhere. Yeah, lemonade on a beach sounds fantastic. Um, it does smell really good. It's a, more of a sweet lemon smell because, of course, it's called lemon sorbet. That one we've mixed with sugar strawberry before, and it smells good. It smells like a strawberry lemonade from McDonald's. If any of you guys have ever had those frozen strawberry lemonades from McDonald's, when you mix those two together, the sugar strawberry and that, it smells so good. It really made me want a lemonade. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Um, what's next? What else I, I think the lemon one since that yeah. should be more citrus. Uh, uh, uh Okay. Let's see. I, okay. Okay. First one I see in the, I think. Oh man. Um, oh, Luna. Luna, should yeah. This one. Yeah, Luna's a good so, one. So. This is one of my favorite ones because whenever I was younger, my mom would use this scent a lot. And that's why it's super nostalgic to me. Whenever I first smelled this, I got like seven different memories from when I was younger. Really brought back a lot of memories for me. Yeah. And it's also really good smelling. Yeah, this one's my favorite. He's right. I did burn this a lot. Not burn it. Sorry. I warmed it a lot when they were little. And so like he said, when he smelled it again, it brought back all memories of when they were him and his brother were little. Um, it does smell really good. Can you read the description? honey? Yeah. What's it say? It says white florals, jasmine, sweet pea, and freesia. Freesia. Yeah. Freesia. Juicy berries and sandalwood shimmers like moonlight. It's pretty much got all my favorite stuff in it. Sweet pea, freesia. <laughs> it, the it is. The really... juicy berries sound good for anyone who's also. I think that's one of my favorite kind of scents. Mm -hmm. I think it's the ones with fruit in it. Yeah, I'm kind of discovering that too. I really like the bakery or the fruit smells. I used to think I was more of a floral person, but we, we seem to have the similar smells you can tell you're related to me and you're my son yeah. <laughs> okay but we still have diff different opinions we do we still have some that we have different opinions on next one is aloe water and cucumber mm -hmm. aloe water cucumber peel palm frond and pineapple nectar are oh so mellow mm -hmm. is its description i really like this one it was like one of the second scents i smelled um, from this pack of samples. Yeah, it really smells good. It reminds me of being on a beach as well. Mm -hmm. It also reminds me of how my hair salon smells as well. <laughs> so, you like how those places smell, then I'd recommend this too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a really good, pretty smell. It's just light and fresh. Mm -hmm. I agree. Okay. One, two. Uh, one of my favorite. Oh, okay. There's that one too. Oh yeah, I, was, I want to save this one for last anyways. Okay. The next one is Welcome Home, which I think is a really good Christmas scent for anyone who is going to um Who is going to be, hold on, sorry, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> Who's going to be having or buying Scentsies for Christmas or looking for mm -hmm. Scentsies for Christmas? Um, so, yeah, I really like this smell. Yeah, it reminds me of walking into, like, a Christmas home with a Christmas tree and mm -hmm. a fire going on at the fireplace. I'd re recommend this for Christmas mm -hmm. very much. I Yeah, I agree. It reminds me of Christmas and when I used to work at Hallmark and we had the cinnamon Christmas smells throughout the store. Um, this one's called Welcome Home, like he said. It's actually available in the fall-winter catalog as well. 
but it's a really good scent. It, I think it'd be a powerful performer. And I think it brings both of us good memories. It's very nostalgic for Christmas. So I agree, I like this one, but it'll be also in the fall winter catalog too, so. Next one is one we both like a lot. <laughs> Mom was talking about this a lot in her last video. It's called Baked Apple Pie, which is backwards, but. Yeah, because we're live. <laughs> This one smells exactly like baked apple pie, mm -hmm. which I really like about it. It reminds me of grandpa and grandma's house mm -hmm. whenever um, they make apple pie. Yeah. It smells really good. Yeah. My dad makes homemade pies at Christmas, and the crust, everything's homemade. And he's right. It smells just like Grandpa Mike's apple pie. It's really, really good. So if you enjoy that kind of... If you enjoy the smell of apple pie, I'd recommend it. Yes. I think it's a good fall one, too. Yeah, exactly. It's got that cinnamon in there and the apple, and it's just really good. Yeah. The next one is very... I just think it's... Um, citrus, citrus. Um, it's right here. This one's a bestseller. Mm -hmm. So, I can see why, because this... It really smells, you can really smell the apple in this, and it mm -hmm. smells really good. Mm -hmm. It's just picked uh, making touch pops with apple peels and a hint of crisp pear. Um, yeah, it smells really good mm -hmm. for anyone who likes apple smells yeah. to their house. Yeah, it's a really sweet apple smell, but it smells really, really good. It's a good scent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like this one, too. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. Okay. Okay, I want to I want to do. We're looking for the descriptions real quick. Yeah. Sorry about that. No. Which one are you looking for? Oh, okay, that should be fresh under fresh, honey. Fresh? Yeah, that should be a fresh category. Or... Let's see that. Hmm. This one, one the next one we're going to get, I'm going to, it's going to be one of my first scentsies that I get. Oh, here it is, honey. It's called Just by the Sea. This is... Really, it really reminds me of being at a beach. Its description is the scent of ocean air waiting through dewy seaside grass, mm -hmm. which I agree it that matches its description because yeah, it reminds me of like like the tr like tropical theme mm -hmm. with different um like palm trees mm -hmm. and it's like sitting on a on a seat while like having sunglasses on and sitting in the sun that's what i would smell i love it <laughs> yeah i would love to be on the beach with sunglasses sitting in the sun right now yeah that smells really especially good especially smelling that so yeah anyone who's a big fan of oceans I definitely recommend it. i think grandma debbie would like that one it's a bestseller, too. So. Mm -hmm. It's very popular. And that was called By the Sea. Yeah. Uh, Paradise Pond should be in fruity. Or floral. Did you find it? Nope, that's Snapdragon. Is floral here? We're looking for Paradise Punch currently. Yeah, this is what it looks like. It has a really... Okay, I found it. It has a really good punch smell. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like, it smells like a punch drink, if you enjoy that smell. Mm -hmm. I know I do. Its description is, Nero and orange zest beckon from a utopia of tropical white blooms. Which sounds really good. Mm -hmm. So I'd recommend to anyone who yeah. likes tropical things. Again. Yeah, that's, it does smell really, really good. <laughs> Next one. I'm gonna do is 
think it's on this page. It's called. No, I can't. Oh, iridescent. Uh, iridescent pearl. pearl. Which that I think one is, is. That's probably fresh. I'm assuming. Yep, right here. There you go. Lustrous layer of ripe, juicy mango and apple blossom wind down from tranquil water lotus. Yeah, this one smells really good. Um, a lot of the a lot of the ones I picked for this live stream um, are it I accidentally picked a bunch of fruits and like tropical theme smells. But they smell good. Yeah. Because I think they're really good smells. Yeah. So. I'd recommend this to anyone who, you know, enjoys tropical smells and mm -hmm. um, sweet, you know, um, who enjoys juicy mango and apple blossoms. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really... I like that thing. Mm -hmm. This one is not... I don't like this one as much as you do, but I can see why you like it because it is a very fresh, light scent. So, but it's not exactly a favorite of mine, but I think it's a good scent. Yeah. Next one is pink rhubarb sugar. sugar. Yep. Um, that one, I think, I think it might be... This one is another one of my favorites. Right there, yeah. Um, pink rhubarb, rhubarb sweetened with sparkling raspberry and an extra scoop of sugar. So you could definitely smell the um, sugar in this, which I like about it a lot. And this one's under fruity, and I think anybody who's a big fan of the fruity section, I would definitely recommend mm -hmm. you. This is one of the ones you mm -hmm. get for a kitchen, maybe, or a bathroom. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, it's a very... I really can smell the sugar. It smells really good. I like that one. I like any red scents. I know. I like mostly red scents, too, sometimes. It just depends on what they are, though. But, yeah. Okay. We have five left. I think this one is... Are you looking for floral. this one? Yeah. Okay. That would be under floral, probably. Hmm. This one is a lavender smell. It's lavender, yep. Yeah. Oh, I'll lavender. hold it up while he's looking. It's called French Lavender. And... I can't find this one. Hmm, maybe it's not in the book. I... It's not in the book. Oh, I here it is. Yep. There you uh, go. Yep. It's pure herbal fra fragrance of wild lavender from hills of France. This one is really good for when you're taking like a shower or bath. So be good bathroom scent. Yeah. yeah. It's a little nostalgic too because my mom used to buy, it, I think, a lot of lavender ones. Yeah. I'd recommend this to anyone who likes lavender mm -hmm. flowers or smell. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. It smells really, really good. Yeah. It is a little strong on the lavender, so if you're not a big lavender fan, you may not like that one. I already found the next one. Okay. Next one is Mad for Melon. Um, it's just a melon smell. Its, it's description is juicy honeydew melon fresh from the vine is undorned from freesia and wild poppy. So, yeah, it's a good melon smell. Um, it's. I'd recommend this for a kitchen or maybe a room. Um, yeah, that's about it. I'd recommend this to anyone mm -hmm. who likes melons. Yeah, you can really smell the melon in here, but I also smell the freesia, which I love again. Freesia is my favorite. So the combination of the two make it really nice. Yeah. I'd love to smell that while like 
washing dishes or something. Yeah. Yep, exactly. It could be a good kitchen smell too. Yeah. So for the last three ones I decided that I'm going to be doing Disney ones because I really like Disney. Yeah, this is what they look like. This one, I'm going to do this one first. It's called Oh Boy. It's supposed to be a Mickey Mouse scent. Mm -hmm. So. This is a really, like, it's a little strong, but I think it's still really good. In honor of a true original juicy grapefruit cheerfully mixed with bright, I think that says clementine. Clementine, uh-huh. Clementine. And sugared vanilla is one of a kind, just like Mickey Mouse. So, I like how they didn't just, like, add random ingredients for Mickey Mouse. I like how they actually added meaning to the ingredients they added. Yeah, it's a really good fruity smell. Mm -hmm. I also recommend this to anyone who enjoys fruity smells. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. Yeah, I really like it too. It would be good for a kid's bedroom. Like, we could put that in Brett's room. And even, I don't know if they make those in the pods. I can't remember. But even just, yeah, I really like that one too. Also, for, um, they also have these products right here that you can buy. It's like mm -hmm. for um, the scent specifically. And I think these two fans right here are going away with the fall winter uh, stuff. Yeah. But I believe, ah, oh, don't quote me on this, but I believe everything else is staying and the scents that we're going over right now, so. There's Scentsy Packs for Oh Boy, the other scents that I'm gonna be talking about, even toys for maybe kids. Yeah, the Scentsy Buddies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep, those are super cute. Um, this the next one is called Totally Mini. It's supposed to be based off Minnie Mouse. Mm -hmm. Um, its description is part classy and part sassy. This sweet blend of pink melon and hibis, hibis, hibiscus oh, blooms. hibiscus. Hibiscus blooms and juicy apple is full of fun and totally Minnie Mouse. Do you remember, didn't she try to, on Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, she had to go get the picture of the rare flower and it was a hibiscus, I think. So maybe that's why they used part of that was because of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. I don't know. No, I said this earlier, but I like how they didn't just throw in a bunch of Exactly. They, they really put thought into these, mm -hmm. really added the right ingredients. Really. Yeah. Hmm. This one is pretty good. Um, personally, I don't like this one a lot. Um, it's probably because I'm not like used to the smell of like pink melon, hibiscus blooms and stuff. But right. I think anyone else who likes those kind of smells would enjoy it. It also has juicy apple in it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. It is pink in color, like probably Minnie Mouse likes, but. It's always yeah, it's. It's okay. It's probably my least favorite out of the Mickey Mouse collection, which is surprising because with the description, I would have thought I would have liked this one. But yeah, it's not my favorite out of the three. Okay, next one's the last and one. And the last for... one, yeah. Alive and for the Disney collection, all of them. It's called Mickey Mouse and Friends. So I'm gonna read the description because I don't think I've actually smelled this one before. I can't remember. Oh, is it new? Okay. Yeah, for me. Celebrate everlasting friendship with a fragrance of almost as sweet thanks to Georgia peach and accents by pops of orange peel and vanilla. So I think, like, they added like a bunch of like, you know, like happy ingredients because yeah. it has to do with friends. Yeah. Which is another detail I like. Um, I don't think there are any plushies 
or Sensi Buddies for the Mickey and Friends. I'm not sure though. Oh, I think so there maybe is. Maybe it's on the next There page. is, honey, right here. That's a Sensi pack. I said Sensi Buddy. Oh, Sensi Buddy. I'm sorry. Yeah, there's not any. Okay. I want to try the Winnie and Pooh one. Oh, I have the Winnie the Pooh one in there. I really like this one. Yeah, I like the peach with the vanilla and the orange peel along with it. This one. Yeah, that one's really good. It's, oh yeah. You can smell the peach and vanilla, you're right. It's a good one. I probably like Oh, oh Boy the best, then this one second, and then totally mini third, so. Did you want to smell 100 Acre Wood? Yeah, because we're on the topic of Disney. Okay, we are pulling 100 Acre Wood. He's got to look through my samples real quick. I'm it's be trying kind to of, talk. It's like a purple kind of color. So while you're looking for that. It's based off Winnie the Pooh. I think a lot of you know. I can read the description while you're looking. It says, Grab your favorite hand and wander through a friendly forest swirling with cotton blossoms, wild jasmine, and sweet, cozy vanilla. That sounds good. So, yeah, it's different. I thought I would really like it when you I smelled, smelled it. Mm -hmm. But I was a little surprised. I would like it a little better. I have to smell it again because. Um, while he's looking. I think tomorrow Colt and I are going to do a video kind of um, just making sure he's discussed all his favorite scents. And then we will go through soon the catalog and all the new fall and winter scents. There's a lot of pumpkin spice, um, pumpkin ones, love the fall ones. And then the Christmas ones look good. The new ones they have coming out seem really I'm very excited to smell them and I can't wait till we get our testers and I can't wait to share my testers with people so they can try them out because I think it's going to be fun. So it's a purple color. It's a purple color. A lighter purple so color. Okay. I'm going to help him look yeah. real quick. Let me see. I have so many of these testers that sometimes it's hard to find. It's all in this bag. It's in a black bag that's kind of hard to... Which I think was... Here it is, honey. We found it. Okay. We can do that at the end. You want to smell it? Okay, so this is a Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, Winnie this the is the Pooh Winnie one. the Pooh, 100 Acre Wood. Grab your favorite friend. I already one. read it to them. I know, but I want to see okay. what ingredients they added. Cotton blossom, jasmine, and vanilla. Okay. I like this one. Oh, yeah. It's pretty good, I think. Yeah, I like the vanilla smell with it mm -hmm. and the jasmine in it too. Yes. What were you gonna say? Go ahead. I don't know. It is pretty strong. I think it'd be a good performer. Yeah. Maybe that's what I was worried about, that it'd be too strong for me. But warming it might be different than a cold smell. Because I have discovered that, that sometimes the cold smells are different from when you start warming them. So There's also a really cool product with it. You can get this warmer that's the honey pot from mm -hmm. Winnie the Pooh, which I really like. It is super cute. And it's got them on the side, all the friends playing. It's kind of hard to see in this picture, but they're all playing on the front. And then the honey's dripping down. And I was watching um, Sense with Ashley P, and she got this, I believe, and said that it does look a little realistic up here, but it's super cute. This is actually going away, so I think you only have till tomorrow to purchase this, and then it goes away. So, um, sometimes they may bring things back, um, but if you really like that or really want that, I would highly suggest getting it now before it goes away. So. I hope they bring it back. Yeah, I hope so too. It's super cute. You loved Winnie the Pooh when you were little. That was your favorite. All right. Well, I think that's it. So I'm sure Chase will give his opinions on the fall winter scents as well. 
You know Colt definitely will too. I think they both will start helping me out with these videos. And uh, maybe it'll help you guys decide if you want to try something or not. Again, if you're local with me, I will be getting the new fall scents and the winter scents. Um, so I'll bring those in at work. Or if you want me to bring them to you and you can smell them, I can do that as well. So, all right. Did you want to say anything else before we go? I'm glad that I was able to do this live stream because this is one of the first live streams I've done. Mm -hmm. Also good now. Yeah. His voice, you have to, you have to remember. He was just babbling when I saw him last. The cow. Yeah. So Susan was Chase's um, daycare provider, his very first one, and she's not heard his deep voice now that he's twelve. So he went through a lot of change. Yeah, he's gone through a lot of changes. So and longer hair. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. And again, we will do the fall winter scent soon. Uh, tomorrow, Colt and I might review some stuff. Uh, Glacier Water is the scent of the month for August. We're burning that in the bathroom now. You really like Glacier Water, right? Yeah. yeah. Glacier Water is one of our favorites. I wasn't so sure of cold smell, but once I warmed it in the bathroom, I really liked it. And Chase really likes it. So, all right. Well, you guys all have a great evening. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.